me and Keir met when we were nine years old, I think. Yeah, because I remember it was the first day of school and I came outside the class and I, I met this kind of like cheeky look, looking little little brat who, who asked me what my name was. I said, my name was Lawrence. And he said, oh, that's too, that's too posh. That can't be your real name. What's your surname? And I said, Beverage. And he goes, all right, I'm going to call you that. From then, I guess, you know, like we were kind of best friends as, as soon as that, really. We wrote our first song, would have been about a year later. And we'd not, obviously, we'd none, we couldn't play guitar or anything like that. So we, was, we were just writing songs and singing them. And the first one was about his dog. I can't remember how it went. And then we essentially completely separated, like, for about two years. You know, he went off with girls and stuff, and I, I got really introspective and everything like that. And then he started a band. <laughs> Me and Lawrence, our whole relationship is very complicated because we're kind of like so intrinsically linked. We were best friends and then we were better friends and then we were brothers essentially. We lived together for four years. We kind of like couldn't afford anywhere big so we kind of had to get these tiny flats and like shared a bed and we still do like to this day like which everyone still thinks is weird and gets printed in Kerrang these days for the thing <laughs> like we all share beds, so a big deal. To us, it's nothing. We used to do it when we were kids. But. It's kind of like a, a relationship now where it's like you feel odd if you're apart, but when you're together, you don't necessarily need to be doing anything. You're just kind of, you know, in each other's presence. Uh, should we do Necromania and... Uh, oh, should we do Necromania? Because that was... Someone talk. Other than Kilman. Answer me! Okay, what are we gonna play? Everyone's happy, everyone's happy, even King. So yeah, this is uh, this is what normally happens in Fear of Sound Blackers. Everything fucks up, and then everyone's in the mood with me most of the time, because I'm a twat. Is everyone in the mood with me, or is it? Uh, oh. I 
uh, obviously I get to a show and you know our fans because they're all like covered in talcum powder they've all got our logos drawn all over their face they're kind of wearing all these amazing clothes but yeah I think one of our gigs is about the only places I can go and feel underdressed I like that it's just kind of this club element it's like they come dressed like us and we're all in it together yeah that's how you notice them because they're usually different and kind of happy to be so as well which is kind of what we're all about just kind of be who you want to be and just you know do it fuck everyone else you know what I mean open my beard brother it's weird that these that all these people get so like some not all of them but some of them get so nervous just to come up and talk to me, you know. Yeah, I get so many hugs, it's great. We did this show a while back and this one girl literally just screamed. I like cakes and they, they give us a lot of cakes, it's great. It was like a, a held in scream, just like a <laughs> just looking at me making this noise. <laughs> experimented from the beginning with this kind of steampunk aura. He's always been the fashionista of the band. I just had to buy some goggles and I saw them online. <laughs> I just wore them at every gig since. <laughs> and now I see other people wearing goggles. That's kind of cool. <laughs> when we were in our earlier bands, uh, we were wearing suits and ties and what we wouldn't normally wear on the street. People like it and people hate it. And that's kind of why it's got to the point where it is now, because People talk about it. We just started just experimenting. We just started going, you know, doing a bit of makeup. We get like different coloured makeup just to stand out a little bit because everyone's just looking the same and sounding the same at that point in London who we were playing with. So we thought, well, we'll, try and, we'll try and sound a bit different, we'll try and look a bit different, we'll try and really just separate ourselves from the crowd and see if anyone takes notice. You know, when we could name it first Sound Puckers, I jumped on it, because that was before the whole Twilight explosion. And then when you start getting somewhere and people will start saying, oh, this is obviously just a cash-in on Twilight or blah, blah, blah. And that really, really hits you where it's... And you start to think, are we, you know, are we just cashing in on this sort of stuff? And so that whole Kerrang, when Kerrang embraced us and said, you know, these people are good, they're going somewhere. It was like, they're proving to us that what we're doing is valid and people want to hear it. I ask questions that most people, most people would just be asking, are you gay? Are you? Who's learning about this? It's mine now. <laughs> Sorted. Oh shit, I've just got Just that. Yeah, just take that back and see what he says. Okay. So do you get nervous before you play or not? No, I get angry because I don't get angry. Like I've got, I've got a complex about a few things. One of them is the fact that people's perception of the past or me. I'm quite self. Oi! Where's my lanyard? Why can't you make 
get nervous. I, get, I just get, I'm angry. I really do think that I, I, people often say to me, oh, you're all right, before we go on. As soon as I come off, I'm like a fucking child. I'm just laughing. I immediately start drinking. I don't drink before I play either. Because otherwise then I'll be really shit. I, I probably, I, like, I think one of, one of the saving graces, if that's, this, that probably doesn't even apply to what I'm about to say, but is the fact that uh, uh, I would drink if I was just singing. I'd be drunk all the time, I think, which is really bad. But the thing stopping me become not an asshole. I wouldn't be an asshole, but I think I'd be a, a bit of a liability is the fact.